against an opponent ranked number 19 by the WBC and who sparred many hours with the undisputed world middleweight champion Marvin Hagler. Desmond Lynham is waiting at ringside. Well, just a few weeks ago in this very ring, Jimmy Cable won the vacant British light middleweight title with that fine win over Nick Wilshere, who he'd earlier defeated as well. And tonight, he's trying to move into true top class at one of the most competitive weights in the world, the 11 stone division. And to do that, he's got to get past Buster Drayton, who comes from Philadelphia, the home of so many good fighters, who spent a lot of his time sparring with the great, marvellous Marvin Hagler. Gentlemen, please. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening a 10 round international light middleweight contest of three minutes each round at a match made at 11 stone two pounds. Between and in addition to from Philadelphia, USA, Buster Drake. And in this corner, my pleasure to present the light middleweight champion of Great Britain from Orpington, Jimmy Cable. At the weigh-in at one o'clock this afternoon, Drayton scaled 10 stone, 13 and a quarter pound. Cable scaled 11 stone, one and a half pound. Your referee for this contest is Roland Dakin and your timekeeper, Jeff Williams. Thank you. Well, there's great support here tonight for Cable, who's become quite a firm favourite of this Albert Hall crowd. A year or so ago, he used to come here and, uh, well, they didn't take to him too well. But especially since Second that off. fine win over Nick Wilshire, he's got tremendous backing. Now, uh, Drayton is a seasoned pro, 30 years of age, been in with a lot of good men. He's a natural light middleweight, weighing under 11 stones for uh, this contest. But much of his career, he's been in with the full middleweights, giving away five, six pounds. And that's tough to do. Drayton says his calling card is the left hook. Now, again, in this ring, a year or so ago, nearer two years ago, Cable suffered one of only two defeats against the Welsh light middleweight Horace McKenzie when he was stopped with a left hook to the body in the second round. So that's what he'll have to look out for, that left hand of the Americans. Cable, of course, a good upright boxer, a good jab, and he's gone down from the left hook. Well, he didn't seem to catch him absolutely cleanly, but he caught it across the nose, as it were, and he swung it from way back, Drayton, and now Cable in all sorts of trouble in this opening round. Well, we seem to have a wall on the hands, and down he goes, and that could be the end of it. Right at the start, a big left hook, right on Cable's chin, and he's down and very much out. Well, what a startling end to that contest. Cable is hurt, his head banged off the ropes there. He got the early warning from Drayton, the punch started from way, way back, and then he repeated the dose. Absolute shock, terrible disappointment for Jimmy Cable. Awful disappointment for him, caught cold. Came into the ring as a hero. And that is depressing beyond belief for him. Well, Jimmy Cable, when he plays his recorder later, won't want to watch this too often. This was after he'd taken the first left hook. And in it goes again. It was a lightning punch. The calling card arrived. Well, an unhappy night for Jimmy Cable. Came into the ring with a great deal of backing having won that uh, vacant British title here just a few weeks back. This man delighted with himself. He's ranked 19 in the world in one of the most competitive divisions 
Just think of Thomas Hearns and Roberto Duran and Wilfred Benitez, and you get the message about the light middleweights in the world. Let's have a look at that first uh, knockdown. See, it just whistled across his face. He took half the effect of it. And there was an indication of precisely what was to come just a little bit later on. On a count out in one minute, 25 seconds of the first round, Drake is the winner. Sympathy from the crowd for Jimmy Cable. Ladies and gentlemen, vote for the loser too, gentlemen. Jimmy, I don't know quite what to say to you about that. That really was a shot. Yeah, well, you know, I was all right from the first punch that he threw, but I didn't see the second one. It was a good shot. You know, I think he would have he put anyone down. It was a good shot. The first one seemed to whistle across your face. You, you sort of caught half the effect of it. Yeah. I knew, you know, I, knew where, I knew where I was. You know, as soon as it hit me, I knew where I was. But the second one was a good shot, the second shot, you know, second punch. It seemed to come from sort of way back. Yeah, he was, well, it came, you know, right round from his, right from his back, really. But I didn't see it, you know. Well, we can show it to you. Yeah. Fantastic shot, yeah. Well, I think it would have knocked anyone down that. It's a terrible disappointment for you, though. I mean, I can't, you can't imagine where you go on from here, can No, you? I don't. I just, I just said to my manager, you know, I'm very disappointed, you know, especially after the Wiltshire fight. And um, first fight back as champion, you know, I'll get knocked out. Because the crowd really wanted you, didn't they? They gave yeah. you a great welcome. Fantastic, yeah. But Bad luck, Jimmy. We don't want yeah. to prolong the agony by, by you having to explain it too much, but okay. um, thanks very much indeed. Thanks very much, Chris. Jimmy Cable won't forget that fight in a long time.